Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a fluorescent ballast. Uh, this one is a Methonia lighting. Uh, it's T12. I want to convert it to T8 to this ballast here, which is a Tech Light preheat ballast. No, not preheat, I'm sorry. Rapid start. Rapid start ballast, as you can see here. Anyway, um, we're going to put this in, this tech light ballast. It is an electronic rapid start, not instant start. So, we are going to start with that. Alright, first we're going to open up the fixture. So, this up. Put your screws aside this way, they don't get lost. Open it up carefully, and inside, now as you can see, the difference in these ballasts are big. So you're going to, you may have to put new holes in for the newer ballast. This is an older one, this is 1997, but I got a package of these on eBay for 35 bucks, and I got 10 of them. So, pretty good deal, absolutely. So first, we're going to take out the old ballast and clips. So let me do that, and we will move on. Okay, so we got the old ballast out, which is here, and luckily, this fixture, not all of them, has the notch there where you slide it in, and it's already got a pre-drilled hole there. So, this ballast has a grounding, and the way it needs to go so all the wires reach is this way. The only wire that does not reach is the ground, which is supposed to go over to there. Not all ballasts have this. You could take the easy way, usually, and put the grounding right there which is on the screw of the metal ballast itself. But the most common way you should do it is to take a piece of wire like this, cut that end off, wire it, and wire it like that, just to be on the safe side. In my case, usually it's just gonna go on a screw over there. So, make it short and easy. We got this out. I marked which was the black, which was to this part of the ballast already connected. This was the factory ballast. So I marked it with black sharpie just to make sure that was the black wire, which it was, going from the line in. So we got that done. The two yellow wires go there to the clips. These go over, over here. We could cover those up and I will show you how to wire the ballast after I install the ballast, which will be now. Take that, get the screw, take that up there, and wrong screw. Bear with me for a second. the same but they're the not. You want to make sure the ballast is tight so the way it doesn't wobble or fall onto the cover which is bad because that's where the lamps are. Okay so we got the ballast in. That ain't going anywhere. Okay and take the wires going in from here and curl them around so you don't want to pinch any of them. Mm. You could always cut the wires going to the ballast, but if you're going to use the ballast for different things, you don't always want to cut the wires. Because once you cut them, it's done. Ballast wires don't get that hot, so you could usually curl them up inside the fixture. Alright, I need to get wire nuts and some few things and we'll be continued. Okay. 
So I've got the wire caps. We're going to, the best way is to work from the bottom up. So the clips are on the top and the electricity is on the bottom. So that's the way we're gonna work. Take your white. Take the white wire. Hold on. These wires are kind of hard to work with sometimes. Pre-twisting is always recommended, but you don't have to do it. Right. Put the nuts on. You want to make sure the nuts are tight. You don't want the nuts to fall off. Okay. These are in, I believe. Okay, that one's done. Take this one. And ever so nicely this way. Now, those are done, the power wires, so you don't have to put tape on them, but I usually do just for safety. I mean, it'll help the wire, even though they won't get tugged on because once the fixtures close, it really doesn't open again. I prefer putting tape on everything. It's just the way I do it. You can never be too safe with electricity. And that goes for everything in life. Lesson be learned. This YouTube video is going to be very long, so I'm going to have to cut some of this stuff short. Alright, now for the clips. I really wanted to make these this video as easy as possible we're going to take the clips this is going to be your one clip as you can see on this ballast one is on this side one's on the other don't crisscross them please I mean they're trying to make it simple for you so take the clips push one in that's in that's in okay other clip That's in, and that's in. All right, now the other side of the fixture. Now you got the two yellow wire <coughs> wires. You're going to take one, and on the ballast, it says to have the clips like this. So you're gonna have the ballast here, ballast is right here. You're going to have the two wires going this way, clip here and clip here. You put one wire to that clip, one wire to the same clip, then one wire from that wire to the other. Don't know if you followed me on the carpet there, but that's the way it works. So we'll just do it in person. I pre-cut these two before it started. These two little wires here for the clips. So, make sure the clips are unshunted. You don't want them to be shunted. Okay, so you got the two wires in one clip already. That's good. Now you got to do the other one. Got one wire in there. Take the other clip then. Wait, no. Put that other wire in there. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Take that, put it in there. That one is too long. Please hold on. Okay, take that one, put it in there. 
take that one. No, that one's done already. I'll take that one and put it in there. All right, you're 90% done. You got the wires put in, but you are not finished yet. Why? You gotta put the ground wire in. As I mentioned before, now these two screws are for the outside to hold the cover on. You can bring it over to the wire there, but best bet in this case is to drill a new hole and just attach it to the fixture, which is the best bet right here. Just make it easy on yourself and that will be the best, but I don't feel like drilling holes, so we are going to use my method. So we'll ground it and I'm going to put the cover on and we'll test it. Again, this is the wiring. Got everything done here. Got the two clips on there. And I'll put the cover on and test it. And we'll be finished. Okay, got the cover on. We got everything done. We're just going to put the bulbs in now and we could test it. Okay, that's in. And that's in. All right, now for the finale. And here we go. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Nice. Here we go again. Not like a blink happy, but... Thanks for watching.